So I have communicate in the reverse. Believe. And then I have gambling in the reverse. Problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances. And then vacation. You will be traveling soon in the reverse. So somebody may have been traveling for some sort of addiction that they had. Um, this could be a sex addiction, a gambling addiction, you know, a drug addiction, whatever addiction that this person has. You haven't been in communication with this person, um, but maybe they're starting to believe in you. Maybe they didn't believe you are who you said you are. I'm hearing that song, Make Me a Believer, Believer, Change. I think that's Imagine Dragons, but I can't remember for sure off the top of my head. But somebody took some action in the past to steal some sort of treasure from you, or they didn't see you as a treasure, but I feel like it was more of an action. An action was taken to steal some sort of treasure from you. Um, you may be receiving some sort of communication with the Page of Wands because you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this person may be in poverty. <clears throat> Um, and juggling finances. So this person that took some sort of swift action from you has some sort of gambling addiction. They may have lost a significant amount of money. Um, or you could have been the Queen of Pentacles and lost a significant amount of money because you dealt with this person and they had addictions and they were, you know, spending your money, wasting your money um, because they were trying to steal your treasure. So they could have put you in a state of poverty you could have actually gone from like queen of pentacles to juggling your finances because of whatever action this person took against you to take your treasure so maybe you had a financial you know you had financial stability and a good job when you met this person um someone's all up in their feelings and emotions with the four of cups maybe it's this person that can't come towards you maybe they're out of resources too um they're all up in their feelings <clears throat> Because they're starting to believe how protected you are, even though it's believed. So maybe somebody didn't believe in God. I'm getting that. Somebody didn't even believe in God. And whatever you're doing is forcing them to believe something. <clears throat> maybe you're speaking out about some sort of truth or something. We have the Ace of Wands here. Somebody could want to give you some sort of gift. You're getting recognition. The Six of Wands here. Um, you could be getting some sort of award or recognition or accolade. Um, this could also be something being returned to you that was taken. Something of importance. Um, something of value to you. You feel from some sort of heartbreak. And this has somebody all up in their feelings or emotions. So if this person purposefully put you in a state of poverty so that you would end up being stuck with them. They're all up in their feelings or emotions because you're not stuck. You walked away from this person with the Eight of Cups. Maybe you walked away from this person because of their addictions. Um, maybe uh, they're a gold digger and you, you know, you discovered that. So you could have walked away from them after finding out that, you know, they were just using you and they didn't really love you, that they didn't have your best interest at heart. So you could be getting a judgment going in your favor, or you could be showing up as the Queen of Swords. Somebody thought they were being sneaky, working against you. This could be an Emperor or Empress. This could be a masculine or feminine energy that was working against you, and they think that they're being sneaky by doing something. You're on your path, and you're on your new beginning. Um, it's like you've already started your journey. And someone was being really sneaky about trying to stop you from getting on that. But somebody wants to be loyal to you. And they've seen you go through some sort of transformation from the Empress to the High Priestess here. So there's been some sort of rebirth or transformation. And um, someone is still trying to be sneaky or stealthy. Someone's like playing in your energy, watching, spying. They think they're doing something stealthy. This person tried to keep you stuck in the past. And they're shocked to find out that they couldn't keep you stuck. Uh, maybe they thought if they had you juggling finances, you would be stuck and stop you from getting a judgment or something going in your favor, uh, possibly regarding a home I'm getting. But somebody, you could have multiple people that want to be loyal to you. You could have multiple offers. <coughs> Sorry, multiple offers coming in. 
and this has some people scared. Um, they tried to stop you from getting some sort of gift. So a gift could even be a home. Someone could be getting gifted a home or, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm getting. Some sort of gift. There's a witchy energy in these flying monkeys that are pissed off about whatever offer you're going to be getting or whatever gift you're going to get because someone lied and they told some sort of untruths um, to stop you from getting something and you're still going to get it. And that has someone all up in their feelings and emotions. Man, you got a witchy energy and a bunch of flying monkeys all pissed off that you're getting something. Yeah, you're going to be getting some sort of communication soon. This could be communication regarding someone that wants to give you a gift. Yeah, big changes are coming. The Six of Cups here. Big changes are coming. Um, you may be entering a new emotional cycle. Maybe you didn't see this coming. Yeah, this past person who offered you a shitty Knights of Cup offer, um, you know, they didn't want to date you or, you know, maybe you did date them and they were trying to stop you from having a new start or new beginning. Um, this person is all up in their feelings and emotions because you're moving on without them. This person was not a star. They were not divine. They were evil. They caused you to be, um, you know, in a state of heartbreak. They could have caused you some heartbreak and you had to walk away from this person. Yeah, they were definitely not honorable. And once again, the star in the reverse. So they were definitely evil. This is somebody that you were in a relationship with. Um, you know, it could have been serious. You could have lived with this person. I mean, it could have been a spouse. But I'm getting more of something that was not as committal or not as serious as a spouse. But, I mean, take it how it resonates. This person could have been paid to come towards you to stop you from having a new beginning as well. Make me a believer. Believer. Yeah, they came towards you with a bullshit offer. It was never... Um, <laughs> there was no substance. There wasn't any substance behind this offer. This person thought that they had something to gain by making this offer to you. And in turn, this caused you to show up as the wounded warrior, but you had the strength and perseverance to get through this. This was an actual love relationship, and they wanted you to not be successful. They wanted to have a victory over you or stop you from achieving some sort of victory. And, yeah, the Six of Cups, they're all up in their feelings and emotions. Um, or not Six of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Um, they're pouting all up in their feelings and emotions because they were trying to stop you from rebuilding and moving forward. And once again, you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So even if you lost money, you're still in that Queen of Pentacles energy. So if you lost money, you'll get it back because that's just how you roll. This person purposefully caused an imbalance to you. Like this, per this person is really um, upset that they caused this imbalance and they're still not getting anything out of it. It's like their hard work didn't pay off. Sorry to disappoint. Um, yeah, let's check my main cards. I haven't done these for a minute. When you're a vegan and haven't told anyone in seven minutes. So this person could talk about you a lot. <clears throat> It's kind of funny because you walked away from this person and they can't keep your name out of their mouth when your dentist suggests adult braces. Um, so maybe uh, this person has bad dental hygiene or they need to go see a dentist or someone needs to go see a dentist. Maybe someone's teeth are crooked. Maybe that's a sign. Um, <laughs> that's, I just heard their teeth are crooked because they won't keep your name out of their mouth. Okay. I mean, <laughs> shit. Spirit's funny. <laughs> oh, in the words of little Kim, your your mouth's a cage for your tongue. Wait, your your mouth, your teeth's a cage for your tongue. If you just close your mouth or something like that. Oh, yeah. 
Someone needs to keep their name, your name, out of their mouth. They won't shut up. Uh, so your mom was trash talking you too. When all the old toys your mom threw out are suddenly worth thousands of dollars. So this person is trying to hurt you, possibly even since you were a child. Uh, this person talks a lot of shit about you. <clears throat> Maybe they were talking a lot of shit about, um, you know, your finances, your resources, um, your past relationships. When you realize you just watched eight straight episodes of diners, drive-ins, and dives, they have nothing better to do with their time. So somebody must be bored. This person could be on, like, disability, social security, something like that. They may not have a job. So this could be a mother figure that um, was in, you know, cahoots or talking with an ex of yours. I don't know. It's like these people can't keep your name out of their mouth. Um, I'm seeing missing teeth or teeth falling out. Someone's teeth could be falling out um they could have actually blamed you for this like they could have thought that you did some sort of spell work on them to make their teeth fall out but you had nothing to do with that obviously because if you're a light worker yeah that doesn't work um when you come back from vacation and your guinea pig is dead so something is dead um this person could be passing away um you may have to go traveling to go to a funeral when you called shotgun but the backseat ends up being way more lit and when you realize you peaked in high school so this could have been your mother trying to compete with you um they tried to make you look bad and talk shit about you they could have even done this to your ex-partner so they could have talked shit about you to um whoever you were in a relationship with to try to get them to leave you or ghost you um yeah this person caused you some sort of harm heartbreak and you moved on from this person because they started treating you like shit. Someone wants to play tug of war with you. It's like someone wants you swimming in circles and not going anywhere. And then someone wants to attach themselves to you, but they're trying to control your life and puppeteer you. So <clears throat> this could also be somebody, your ex, that wants you to compete for their affections. Or this could be your mother figure or a mother figure. It doesn't have to be your mother, but it could be a mother figure. So let's keep that in mind. Um, that wants to keep you in a tug of war. Somebody wants to attach themselves to you. But we have someone here who's trying to control you or a situation with the hand puppet here. So someone's trying to take control over your life and steer your life and affect your outcome. And that's just not going to happen. This person was trying to affect how you're viewed on technology. They were spying on your technology. They could have been trying to hack your technology, do something um, regarding what you do. And they're trying to burst your bubble. And you gave them their marching orders. So this is somebody you told to hit the bricks. Um, maybe because you knew that they were just in it for the money with the wallet here. This person was just trying to burst your balloon because they weren't seeing something clearly with the eyeglasses here. Uh, so, a mother figure or your mother was trash-talking you to this person or somebody that was trying to compete with you for this person's affections. You're going to be celebrating. This person can't come towards you. They done fucked something up. So, I mean, congratulations. Um, I guess you shouldn't have listened to other people. Maybe you should have gone straight to the Divine Femme or Masculine if you had some questions, right? I mean, what the fuck? So there's a sticky door now. There's a sticky situation. Somebody can't get a door open. Someone's having trouble getting a door open because you're taking care of yourself. You're sleeping good. You could possibly be getting ready to travel or move with the luggage here. And someone is trying to stop you from doing that with the vacation and traveling coming out in the reverse. This person is trying to stop you from moving away because if you move away or move forward, they can't control something about your life. You lay down the hammer with this person, though, because you caused, they caused you some sort of injury. They caused you to be the wounded warrior. So you put, you know, you laid it down the smack it down in the <laughs> wrestling term. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yeah, this person caused you some sort of harm. Um, the hammer of the law could actually be getting involved with them as well because of something that they did to you as well. So, alrighty, let's check my office cards. Ah, uh, so there was some sort of communication here that was done. 
I framed animals before I framed a raccoon for opening a Christmas present, and I framed a bear for eating out of the garbage. So, somebody did some sort of communication. Someone was trying to set you up. Somebody was trying to set you up for something. And they're trying to keep you confused as to who it is. There's two masculine energies here. So it, they're, they're playing guess who. I'm hearing guess who. They're trying to make you figure out who it is. The pompous ass or the innocent gym looking guy. Um, gee, I wonder who. I mean, I'm just saying. But, you know. Someone's trying to make you play guess who with who set you up or something. But I feel like you already know. This person was trying to frame somebody else. Um, for the shit that they did, and that came out in a, the couple readings that I just had uploaded, I think it was like this morning, there was a masculine energy that was trying to set up a divine femme, and then in turn they were setting up the karmic to take the fall for setting up, um, you know, the divine femme when it was them. I would never ever serve you, not in a billion million years. So this person has a chip on their shoulder, um, you know, with the pompous ass here, you kind of... You already kind of know who that is. You can tell by how they act and how they treated you. Somebody um, doesn't want to look like they're second to none. Um, they feel like you're none. They feel like you're trash. This could also be, um, you know, a mother figure that was in competition with you and tried to set you up for something, you know, just because they came up as masculines. Um, you know, you can still be feminines. <clears throat> but somebody tried to set you up to look like you were guilty of something, because of the recognition you're getting, you're going number one. You've got ten more seconds. So, um, this person is pissed off about whatever award or accolade, whatever accomplishments that you have. This person is pissed off about it. This person can't be you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer each year. So, someone in your family could have tried to steal your identity. This could have been someone in your family that was competing um, for whatever you do. Fortunately, my feelings regenerate at twice the speed of a normal man's. So this didn't bother you because you probably already cut ties with people in your family anyway. Someone is just like pursing their lips together like... Uh, someone's pissed. Their, their actions didn't work. They were trying to hurt your feelings and they didn't because you don't give a shit. Someone could be um, getting a hold of you and communicating something to you about this. Someone could be spilling the beans or speaking out some sort of truth about this. And that's going to make this person look like an idiot. Oh, what's that on your... Oh, what is that on your face? Is that a disguised clown paint? So yeah, someone's going to communicate something to you and this person. Whoever tried to set you up for something is going to be left looking like a clown. The important thing to remember, Jim, is we always have what is called the element of surprise. So you may be surprised to find out who this was that was competing with you or tried to set you up. Or you may be surprised at who is going to contact you and communicate to you um, the details or speak some sort of truth about what happened. I am better than you or ever have, will be, ever have been or ever will be. So someone is real. someone really thinks they're better than you. I mean, really. Um, this could be a feminine energy. And you could be a masculine in your feminine energy. So this person really thinks they're better than you. And you just kind of, you know, you healed from whatever heartbreak. If this was a mother figure or, you know, if it was your own mother figure. Someone's losing their shit because they're not better than you. They just wish they were. Yes, I have a wig for every single person in the office. You never know when you're going to need to bear a passing resemblance to somebody. This person could have tried to copy your work, copy what you do. It's me, I'm the bobblehead. So, um, yeah, this person can't compete with you. They tried to copy whatever work you do to prove that they're better than you. Um, and someone has to admit defeat. Like, someone's shoulders are slouched, they're hunched over. Like, they have to, they have to admit defeat. They didn't win. Sorry, but that's just the way it goes. Yeah, someone is anxious. Someone is nervous. <clears throat> they could be having panic attacks because they're trying to gaslight you and it's not working. 
they hacked your accounts. If this is your mother, um, obviously they have your like social security number, shit like that. They may even have a copy of your birth certificate. Um, this person intentionally caused you an injustice. Maybe they were jealous of your relationship. Maybe they wanted your person that you were with. That's really sick and sad, but you already know too much. So you, you already know what's going on. I mean, more than you even let on. You're not even letting people know what all you know. Especially if you have, you know, one of the Claire's gifts or talents, spiritual gifts. You're already tapped in. <clears throat> they claim they didn't try to set you up, but that's because they missed the opportunity. <laughs> they missed it. But they're still saying, we didn't do this to you. It's all in your head. They're still trying to gaslight you. They're trying to make you think that something isn't real when it is very clearly like there's no other explanation. It's, they're using legit spell work or dark magic. They're trying to make you think you're crazy and you're not. You won't be surprised at who this person is. They're going to be surprised when um, somebody comes to tell you the truth and you're going to say, I already know. Like, <laughs> you're, you're just going to be like, yeah, I, I'm aware. And you're just going to like move on with your day and someone's going to like, their jaw is going to drop and be like, what? An ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is involved. Someone could be getting released from jail. You're going to miraculously cover from whatever this is. Like I said, you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles energy. So even if these people caused you to lose a significant amount of money, you're going to gain it back and then some. Because that's just your destiny. You're always going to be in that energy. You're in that... <sighs> It's like they can take your money, but they can't take, you know, that's why I like the five of cups. Even though there's an emotional time, whatever, someone tries to take three of cups away from you. But they can't take away those two of cups that are behind you, that you keep hidden, you know, in your back pocket for a rainy day. You know, the spirit's got you. You live in that, you're, it's a spirit, it's an energy. So you're always going to be in that energy of queen of, or king of pentacles. And they can't take that from you. Somebody wants to come towards you. I found it again with you. So someone's going to come towards you and say, oh, I found it again with you. Um, you know, Christmas is coming up. Let's spend the holidays together. And this is going to be in a matter of days. Okay. And then they're going to, um, I mean, if you do take this person up on their offer in six to nine months, you're going to find out that this person was fake loving you. This is not real love. <coughs> so be careful. Especially if this is somebody from your past. Um, they could be offering you a proposal like, Oh, I found it again with you. I didn't realize you were the love of my life. Marry me. And then um, maybe you plan a wedding six to nine months down the road. And then you find out this person never loved you. After they robbed you blind and left you out in the cold again. So don't fall for that again. Because they're going to change up on you. It, it, they are. It, they will. That's just how it's going to go. Um, it's all in divine timing. But this person wants you to believe that they are your soulmate. I mean, they, they're they trying to convince you about it. But they lied about someone. They lied about you. <clears throat> you need to proceed with caution when it comes to this person. Someone needs to be honest with themselves. It's either them or you. You either need to be honest with yourself about this karmic. Or this karmic needs to be honest with themselves about you. Because someone is um, just not understanding the situation here. They very much did try to set you up for something. Yeah, one of these, yeah, this, <clears throat> you're seeing through the illusions of this person that you were in a relationship with, you've seen through the illusions. So whatever spell work they did on you, you've seen through it. So they can't keep you blinded with spell work. I mean, that's why you ghosted this person, but they're going to come back and try to emotionally manipulate you. I'm your twin flame, baby. You know, I believe in you. We're soulmates. We're this, that, and the other. No, you're not. This is a lie. This is a lie. And you're going to find out in six to nine months that this was fake love and they didn't change. They're going to start treating you like shit. They're coming back to you because they're juggling finances. And they're broke. They're out of resources and they're juggling. They were juggling and they're out of money.
You know, this person didn't want to dive in with you when they had the chance. They, they didn't. They dove into the fact that they were trying to set you up for something, but they didn't dive into a relationship with you in the past, so why would you give this person another chance? There's a group here that is, um, I'm seeing like a kaleidoscope, like there's a whole group here that's not seeing something clearly or you're not seeing something clearly about a group of people. This could even be your own family because someone is keeping the fact hidden, their identity hidden, that they're connected to this group. This person, your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever this is, is connected to something in your family and you're not seeing something clearly about this. You were in a relationship with this person. They didn't want to be with you when they had the chance. They see you as a leader in your king or queen of wands energy. They're coming back to you. Hey, let's be friends. No, they're sleeping with their friends. They don't have friends. They sleep with their friends. They slept around with everybody. They slept with people in your family as well. Them and their friend. Or they pretend like they're just friends with someone and they sleep with them. They don't have just friends. This person sleeps with everybody. While you're the king or queen of wands in the upright, they're in the reverse, and all these beds right here says it all. I mean, they were a hoe. Poor player. And it's gross. That didn't change. It's not going to change. They're broke. They need money. They need your money, because they see you getting some sort of recognition. Burning question. Yeah, they thought you were a dime a dozen and you were as dull as dishwater. Like, the burning question is, they thought you were an easy target and you'll just believe them. They thought you were ignorant. That you're not as smart as you are. Um, that you don't have divine protection. You know, that their spell work was going to work on you. They're starting to believe otherwise, aren't they? If not, they will be. Um, there could be something significant about a cancer, a penny saved is a penny earned, so you could be watching your finances. And then we have something significant about November with an Aquarius and a Wednesday, so there's something significant about a Wednesday in November involving an Aquarius. Yeah, someone went broke. Someone is broke. Someone went broke. And they know that you have the ability to rebuild and move forward and get back whatever money. Because that's just the energy. There's something significant about December with the Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And something happened in June or something will happen to be happening by June. Um, a karmic's going to have to eat their own words because this was the blind leading the blind. You're the best thing since sliced bread and someone's going to be kicking the bucket. So someone's going to be passing away by June. Something significant about January. On a Tuesday. In September. In the winter time. Scorpio. This person is your opposite. Whoops. This person is your opposite. And someone spilled the beans about this person or they're going to. Someone's going to tell you the truth about this person. <sighs> this is somebody who you haven't been in communication with for a while. They claim to be missing you. They're going to say, better late than ever. I'm ready to work on this. We're going to work this out. No, you're not. They're white as a sheep. Coming in December, I'm telling you, they're still dealing with the fine kettle of fish. Never look back. A Leo, you reap what you sow. All right. Person, place, or thing. A Q could be significant. You may have some questions for this person when they do contact you. T, Q, T. 
Someone's going to say, oh, cutie, I missed you. And you're going to say, eh, bye. <laughs> no. Bye. But I can't quit you. I'm thinking about you. What about the pine kettle of fish? G. Get going. <laughs> okay. You. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Someone's gonna be fighting for the holidays. I. Huh? <laughs> this, this group's gonna be fighting amongst themselves. And you. So I have Q-T-I-G-U-K-U and I. I hope this helps. Have a good day.